Hello everyone, it's Tom with the SS Motion here today, and today we're going to be taking a look at another Call of Duty Mega Block set. So for those of you wondering, I am filming in a different location today, and that is because the weather is absolutely awful at the moment. I usually record in the conservatory, but the weather is so dire that if I was to film up there you would not be able to hear me. So I am instead making use of the kitchen. So hopefully the lighting and everything is still okay for you guys. I know there's a bit more shadow than usual, but what can I say? At least it, I've got the opportunity to work on a review, and I am grateful for that. Okay, so today we are taking a look at the Call of Duty Collector Construction Sets Desert Outpost. It's set number 06846, it's for ages 10 and up, and it includes 79 pieces. So, before we get into the review, a massive shout out to my cousin, who bought me this set while I was on holiday in Scotland um, as without him I would not have been able to get this set and I would not be able to bring this review to you guys since I have not seen it down south so far okay so the set retails for £10 and is a very nice set indeed so you get a small structure, the figure and two weapons so let's start with the figure So the figure is in some way similar to the figure included in the AGR drone, in that he has a full face mask, the same sort of torso, but he now has chocolate coloured legs, which are really cool. I don't believe we've seen these before, which is very nice. I think they could be useful. It, they might actually appear in the Jungle Troopers set, I'm not sure, but all I can say is they're very nice indeed. We also get a tan leg strap with a tan ammo pouch here. An orangey tan tactical vest. A grey ammo clip. And there's a view of the back. And that's it really. The figure is your basic infantry. Could possibly be considered a mercenary. Uh, due to the fact that his... Camouflage is very mixed and doesn't look as if it would be assigned to any specific military. Um, but he's a very nice finger. I actually really like this head. I'm not sure why, there's just something about it. And I would definitely like to get another one of this set in the future. Not just for the figure, but to combine the sets. So he is a very nice figure. And now let's move on to the weapons. So weapons wise, I'll have to empty one out of the crate here. We actually get two weapons included in the set. And that is something which I really like. Mega have done it in another set that I'll be reviewing later on, which is the motorbike breakout. But this set, just including two weapons in general, I think is very cool because it represents something a lot more realistic. You know, in the military, a soldier would be equipped with a sidearm or some other sort of secondary weapon and a primary weapon. So I like that Mega seem to be considering that and doing it. It's very cool. So, in this set, we get an LMG style weapon. Which is using a grey receiver, a black shotgun stock, a black box magazine, and the standard shotgun barrel. And it also includes a grey bipod, which is very cool. We've not seen these in many sets other than the World War II sets, so that's very nice to get. And what's even better is they actually include an extra bipod in the set. So if you've got anything like the Gilly Sniper who does not include a bipod, you can give that to that figure. So that's very cool. And in addition to that, we do get the Desert Eagle pistol. And I cut the trigger out of this one to try and fit it onto the weapons pegs. And it fits fairly well. It's a bit loose, but, you know, if you wanted to display the figure like that, you probably could get away with it, and it does look rather cool. So that's it for the figures and the weapons. Now moving on to the outpost itself. You can see it's a very small structure, but one they've packed a lot of detail into. So starting here, we've got some barbed wire around a stack of sandbags. And I really like this barbed wire. There's actual texture to it, and it feels really good. It just looks the part, it feels the part, and I think they've got it perfect. I mean, when you take it out of the box, it is actually kind of like in twisted circles just like you expect barbed wire to be which is really cool um, moving to the side we have a red ladder 
with an elevated platform up here. Moving to the front, you can see a window which a figure can be displayed looking out of. Only two studs across, but it does the job nicely. And I love that arch effect, it looks very cool. Um, here you've got the red explosive barrel, which also makes an appearance in the Juggernaut set. And you also have another piece of arch work here, which is very nice, along with some wear and tear to show that this is a structure which has been in warfare. Again, on this side there isn't much, but some wear and tear, and it just looks very cool. In addition to that, we have these struts coming out, which add a lot more definition to the structure and make it look very nice. And we also get it set up on two base plates, which is awesome. So turning around to the back now, you can again see a better look at the elevated platform where you can display a figure. And you can also see that the space inside is rather bare and spartan, but there is enough space to display a figure, which I think is nice. In addition to that, you'll notice that the structure is primarily built from tan blocks, but does have some chocolate highlights which add to the detail and make it look very nice indeed. So if we twist this round and pose the figure on it quickly, uh, would I recommend this set? Yes, I would. I think the fact that Mega Bloks have been stretching out to do more structures in the Call of Duty line, and you'll see this in the Ghost Repel Fighters that I have to review for you guys a bit later on, is very nice. And in addition to that, I just feel like it's a nice set. Like, you look at the box and you think, £10, is it really worth that? But when you put it together, it genuinely does feel worth it. I mean, you've got a fairly nice meaty structure, you have a very awesome figure, and you have some rare pieces like a ladder and the barbed wire, so it's definitely worth £10 in my eyes. I love this set, and I'll hopefully buy another one in the future and try and combine them, and if I do, you guys can definitely expect a video on that. So this has been another review with me, Tom, from the SS Motion, uh, looking at the Desert Outpost. I would rate this set 5 out of 5, and until the next review, I hope you guys have a great day.